Well, Limpopo residents and patients will no longer have to spend hours on the road just to access CT scans. The Limpopo Health Department has now invested in CT scanners. The province currently has a shortage of radiographers as well as uh, and saying that the scanners will save their lives. The health department spent about 50 million rand on the new scanners. So to talk more about this, we're joined by Limpopo Health MEC, Dr. Popi Ramatuba. Dr. Popi, thanks a lot for joining us this evening. How significant is the introduction of these uh, CT, CT scans uh, in the rural hospitals in Limpopo? Uh, evening, Faith, and evening to all your viewers, and, and thank you very much for inviting us. Uh, what we must indicate is that uh, this particular CT scans, I mean, somebody is asking me, what is there to celebrate for a scan which uh, it has been invented, if, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around 1963 global. The, the, the issue here, it's, it's not more of a, of a scan, it's also the systems that comes with it. Like you have rightfully said so, in our province where we've got serious challenges in terms of shortage of radiologists, these are medical doctors who have specialized in radiology, who are the ones who are qualified to can interpret. There are very few in the province and located in Petersburg and Mangwe. So it was of no use for us to can procure such scans and, and fit them, install them in rural hospital where there would be no one who's going to be able to interpret them. Now, with the appointment of our young uh, doctors, young radio, radiologists here, they've been innovative enough uh, to say, let's procure the scans, but install them with this uh, PECRA system, the picture archiving communication system, which therefore assist the radiologists wherever they are through their own uh, gadgets, your, their cell phone, they are able to interpret, even if it's done in Chilizini, where we will be yesterday, tomorrow, even if it's done in Litava or it's done somewhere deep in Skukun. So that is the first uh, unique uh, about this system, that we, are, we don't need to have radiologists in all our uh, regional hospitals. We just need to have this particular system which will be used. The second issue is that it's going to... To, to assist in terms of the redu reduction of waiting time. As you have indicated, our patients, uh, imagine, let me give a practical example. You get an accident when you are in Mosina. You get admitted in Chibizini Hospital, and then they need a suspecting head injury. They need a scan to be done. You go to get on the road for another two hours to get a scan. You get involved in another accident on your way. And then sometimes we lose we lose your life uh, during the process. So that is why we we felt it's important that even patients in our project, the rural healthcare makers, uh, that even people in the rural areas de de deserve that. It's also going to improve efficiency in the fact that the, the doctors will get those reports immediately after that that a scan has been done. Unlike what is currently uh, been happening that. You've got to wait for two to three days sometimes to get that particular report. But with this particular system installed in our city scan, we are going to reduce that. And what is most importantly, in the current situation we find ourselves in, where the country doesn't have money, and I was given an, 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 an instruction that from my budget I've got to find $3 billion to cut uh, because of the challenges that we are faced. We know it's an open secret. Now, in order to cut this cost, where am I going to cut? Will I cut the cost of buying medicine that patients don't get? Hence, this particular innovation. When we did our calculation, we realized that with the current scanner that we have, which is only in our two tertiary hospitals, which is Petersburg and Mount Bay, the difficulty here is that, and also the wastage that is there, is that while we are using all this manual system, we are losing more than 9.4 million annually just on these two hospitals, just on the pre printing of films and also those envelopes. We don't even have the storage uh, facility. But with this current uh, system, the, the it's city scans that we are launching tomorrow, together with the package system that is installed, what is going to happen is that we are not going to be uh, printing. So it will just be on iCloud and we don't need storage facility. We don't need the 9.4 million for two hospitals. Now, if you add a former hospitals, it's going to give you lots of millions. Those That money, uh, which we, we estimated to be around 50 million, can be used uh, towards appointment of those nurses that we are looking for and the other doctors that we are looking for. So, so basically, 
this is going to really uh, assist and the most importantly, as you have indicated in the beginning, service delivery and making sure that rural people access healthcare just like me and you who are able to stay in the urban area. Yeah. I mean, we're talking here, MEC, about, you know, how the technology is going to come into play. The fact that we do not necessarily have to waste when it comes to the printing costs that are associated with even having these scans done, right? And the fact that it's going to, the information is going to sit on iCloud. But when we're looking at uh, the accessibility of it, it becomes a different talking point, isn't it? So when we're talking about the dissemination of these scans themselves, how many are they going to be disseminated across the province? How many are we looking at? I mean, you made mention of the fact that you've got two scans in the hospitals currently. That means that many people are waiting just to have their diagnosis met. So with this introduction and with this technology and the launch happening tomorrow, how many more are we looking at uh, equipping and recruiting into the system? Just for tomorrow only, we, we have been able to, to get a new scanner for a Chirizini hospital, which is uh, around 200 kilometers from where we are in Petersburg uh, hospital. We also have got another one in Mukopani hospital, we also which is in Waterbeck. We also have uh, uh, got another one in Litaba Hospital, which is in Upan. So, so for tomorrow, at the same time, we, we also got another one for uh, Petersburg Hospital because the only one that was in Petersburg, like you were saying, most time when it's 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 uh, under need, need requiring service, patients are being returned back, having traveled 300 kilometers. So it has always been a night, nightmare for our clinicians. Mm. So that is why tomorrow for a start. We will be having all this. They will be, we will go online with all of them at the same time. That is where the partnership with the University of Johannesburg is coming from. You know that the Vice Chancellor, Professor Marola, will be joining us because we will also uh, look at other areas so that we don't stop with this particular scan. We, we are also saying we already started with the e pharmacy. How do we then bring it together and, and jointly? Our hospital information system, when are we going to say we are moving towards a paperless? A hospital. So together with, with them, we are going to be, you, will, you are going to see a, a revolution within the information system in yeah. health, in Limpopo, which if you look at the money that will be saved. So the next scanner that is coming would be for Philadelphia Hospital in Skukune. So we will, on an annual basis, we will be procuring this particular uh, uh, scanners until mm -hmm. we, we are saying all our patients are satisfied. But up to so far, all our district uh, from tomorrow will be covered. They will not have to travel uh, ma many hours on the road just to go and be told that the scanner is broken. Please come back next week. Yeah. And, and that is device frustrating to the patients. Well, MEC, it's definitely disheartening realities that many of our people have to deal with as they try to get access to quality health care in this country. So on one side, it's talking about making sure that the scans are available, but on the other side, it's this issue around the recruitment drive, right, for radiologists, because the system in itself needs to be maintained, needs somebody to run it, needs effective, efficient people who know what they're doing to be at the helm. How are you doing with that uh, recruitment process? You see, in terms of the radiologists, we are doing very well, as I've indicated to you. We have now appointed a young, energetic head of clinical unit, Dr. Stolle, who is the project manager driving this project. We already have got, a, I think we have got around seven now radio, radiologists. We don't have a challenge of radiographers, which I've heard you uh, saying earlier on. And I think it's, it's an issue of radiologists that we had serious challenge. But having seven currently, because we are also training. Remember, we've got a license to train. Uh, last week, I just received a call that two of our registrars have passed the exams, meaning we'll be adding two more. So you can see that in terms of recruitment, because the young doctors are attracted by a one. When you have got advanced technology that you are working with, they will be attracted to work in your province. When you have got leadership in your facilities, they will be attracted. If you look at the very same hospital that I'm talking about, we had to make a, an intervention in terms of CEOs and clinical managers and brought, br bring in new fresh ideas. So that is why we are able to recruit now specialists even in those rural areas. But at the same time, because the long term is to make sure we produce our own specialists as a province in Limpopo. And we also at the same time uh, recruit those who are working in the city to come and join and work with us. But also at the same time, we have got what we call the rural health 
uh, matters project that we use uh, next week coming next week will be in the very same district where we will be clearing all the surgical backlogs that have been there so that before we go into our christmas and festive season those who have been involved in an accident waiting for their bone to be fixed who are requiring orifs we should be able to do those those hip replacement will be done those women who require hysterectomies that will be done will be having our gynae oncologist who will yeah. be joining us some are coming from Houghton. so that is the plan and, and the work that we continue to do every day because my, our focus as a team in Limpopo is to make sure that rural people get the same quality of health care that those of us who are at an advantage position continue to to receive every time when we need uh, at healthcare services. Well, definitely, MEC, all the best for tomorrow as you have uh, that launch. MEC, Dr. Popi Ramatuba, they're giving us uh, the latest in terms of the introduction of those uh, CT scans.